Wow, this is a beautiful library. Oh yeah, we've got a huge amount of information here and, and files and books and uh, you name it. And in other rooms we've got photographs, incredible thousands and thousands and thousands of photographs of Humboldt County's past. And we've got another room for researching and genealogy. So wow. if you're doing a you know, family history thing, we've got your information here. Oh, what a place. Now, so where I, where I am in the story is uh, we've covered everything in Fortuna, and I just was at the Eel River Bridge, which uh -huh. apparently he stopped and watched while on his way to Eureka. Yeah, so he right. came here, from what I understand, and spent about a week in Eureka. And I'd really like to hear from you, what did he do when he was here in Eureka for about a week? Okay, well, he rolled into town in August of uh, 1911 uh -huh. and uh, stayed at the home of uh, Hiram Ricks, who was just the recently passed mayor of, of Eureka. Wow. And uh, the beautiful home is still there at 10th and, and G Street. Mm -hmm. And um, while he was there, well, one of the things he did while he was there was he uh, wrote an account of his trip so far. So he spent some time actually sitting there writing, as you know, writers do, and uh, then took it down to the local post office and mailed it to the Sunset Magazine, where they published it the next month. But uh, other than that, <laughs> he also spent. He had. He was a guy who liked to enjoy himself, and he certainly did when he was here. He, uh, he did a lot of fishing and uh, sailing on the bay. Uh, in fact, he had sort of a close uh, encounter with a fishing boat that apparently terrified his wife, among other things. And it caused a little bit of damage, but he was okay. Wait, did they, they didn't actually hit each other, did they? Well, the stories vary on that. Yeah. But I think there was probably some damage, or at least uh, emotionally, if nothing else. Wow, wow. <laughs> and uh, what he also liked to do was eat. Uh -huh. He was very, he, everywhere he went, he liked to sample the local food, and he was really eating, uh, into eating the fish here. Uh, let's see, it was trout, uh, crab, abalone, uh, mussels, uh, clams, and an eel. He was particularly keen on the local eel, the lamprey, as was technically uh -huh. is called. Uh, uh -huh. Even though they didn't have sushi then, he really, <laughs> really was into eel. Uh -huh. And he did some shopping. Um, the, the local businesses were very pleased that he arrived, I think. Because yeah. as well as souvenirs, he, he bought about, uh, the record is about $500 worth of a redwood burl. Because wow. he was building a new house down in uh, Sonoma County and he wanted the best redwood. And so he bought it here and put it on the back of his uh, uh, wagon and set off with it. Uh, I think some of it he just sent ahead because it was too heavy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, he had a good time here. Um, and he was particularly uh, popular locally because uh, his books had, were very popular and, and Call of the Wild had, had just recently come out and there were a lot of fans who were waiting to see him come into town and went to events where he was at. And uh, there's one really nice account of, of a little girl who was just starstruck struck with this, this author in her presence. Yeah. And um, she also wanted to be a writer too. And so she got a chance to actually meet him personally, and she asked for his advice on, on how to become an author. And basically he said, get a life. You know, <laughs> you need to have something to write about, and which he wow. definitely did throughout his life. He did the most exciting things, and he made sure that all of that influenced his, his writing. Yeah. Um, and uh, the, uh, the article that he wrote in Sunset Magazine was really interesting. It was almost like... Uh, it was uh, written by the Chamber of Commerce or something uh -huh. because he was really promoting Humboldt County. And what I want to do is, is read you a little passage because this is this yeah, incredibly yes, fun. Yes, I'd love to hear it. Okay, let me see. I got the right page. There we go. <clears throat> okay. These comfortably large counties, they are veritable empires. Take Humboldt, for instance. It is three times as large as Rhode Island, one and a half times as large as Delaware, almost as large as Connecticut, and a half as large as Massachusetts. The pioneer has done his work in this north of the Bay region. Foundations are laid and all is ready for the inevitable inrush of population and adequate development of resources, which so far have been no more than skimmed and casually and carelessly skimmed at that. This region of the six counties alone will someday support a population of millions. In the meanwhile, oh, you home seekers, you wealth seekers, and above all, you climate seekers, now is the time to get in on the ground floor. 
wow, I am sold on Humboldt County yeah, with that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because I think, you know, the fact that he was staying uh, with the, uh, the mayor, the former mayor, uh -huh. uh, who was also, you know, one of the, the uh, pioneer families of, of Humboldt County, the Ricks family, and um, it was very involved in politics and various business ventures and so forth. We got a picture of him here. He looks like a rather stodgy guy, but he couldn't have been that bad because, uh, you know, Jack London was this sort of radical socialist type. Uh -huh. So apparently they got along all right. <laughs> but uh, um, one of the uh, interesting things about his stay here, too, was that this was the height of uh, Humboldt's sort of anti-Asian feeling. It's one of those aspects of our history that we are, you know, not proud of. Uh, but at, at the time, uh, folks uh, here in Humboldt were really down on any kind of Asians in, in the area. Mm -hmm. uh, so you'd think that this would be a problem for Jack because um, his valet, mm -hmm. uh, Yoshimatsu Nakata, was Japanese. Mm -hmm. um, but there are several reasons why probably this, this didn't cause a problem here in Humboldt. Mm -hmm. One of them, of course, is that he was uh, the guest of a very prominent and important person mm -hmm. uh, in the county, so you don't want to mess with him. Uh, also, of course, London being a celebrity, uh, you know, people were willing to forgive a lot, and they were just passing through, so you know, <laughs> this Japanese guy wasn't going to be hanging around. Mm -hmm. But more important, I think, was that Nakata himself had been a character in one of Jack London's earlier books the cruise of the snark. And so he was a celebrity in his own right. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, people were excited to see him too. Wow. What is ethnicity? You know, they were really excited. Yeah. Um, so anyway, he, uh, he stayed in uh, Eureka for about a week. And of course, it's said that his stay may have been prolonged a little more than he anticipated because of a certain brawl in a certain saloon that may have caused him certain injuries. So he had to recover a little bit extra time, but I guess you will get into that later. Well, um, it's funny you mention that because that's my next stop. Oh, okay, great. In the saloon where this legendary fight is said to have occurred. Yes, well, uh, it, it, there are different accounts of it, but something happened. Well, I'm gonna go to the, the former saloon myself and go check this out. Well, the thing about, about Jack London, he was a really good writer. Uh -huh. And like the advice that he gave of the little girl, uh, in order to have uh, something to write about, you have to, you have to really get into life. Yeah. You have to have experiences and go interesting places and see different sights and, and uh, meet interesting people. And that's definitely what Jack London did. And you can see little aspects of uh, his own personal experiences in all of his books. <coughs> Possibly even saloon problem. <laughs> Thank you so much. I've just had a lovely visit with you, and I've learned Great. so much, and I appreciate you spending the time. Well, and, thank, you. Um, thank you for coming. And and wish you're gonna wish me well on my Jack London Absolutely. adventures. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna forth. go. I'm gonna go live life like Jack <laughs> right, London yes. would do. Yeah, live it to the full. All right. Thank you, Pam, again okay. so much. Thanks for coming. All right. <laughs>